What's up everyone, Brand here from Bloody Breakdown, and today, as you can tell by the thumbnail and this graphic in front of us, we're going to be talking about Scream 5, as I always say, because there's really no telling what Spyglass Entertainment is going to actually do with this property that they now own. I think, however, there is a bit more clarity. Not much, but a sliver of more clarity as it relates to what's going to be going on with this new Scream film over at Spyglass Media Group. So all props and credit first go to Popcorn Planet. Go check out uh, his YouTube channel because he provided us with a really cool, interesting breakdown of a Mad Monster Party convention at which Nev Campbell, Matthew Lillard, Jamie Kennedy, and Roger L. Jackson were all in attendance. Now, Breaking down some of the things that he was talking about and kind of just uh, bringing it over to my channel and adding my own spin to it, um, kind of what I took away from what he was talking about, what I took away from what Nev Campbell and the others were talking about, Nev Campbell still has yet to hear anything, apparently, from Spyglass Media Group. Now, at first I thought maybe, just maybe, this was them uh, herself and even David Arquette who's commented on this. Um, not getting any kind of phone call, not reaching out. I thought maybe this was just, uh, you know, just a way to keep things under wraps, keep things secret. But the more I hear this, the more I, I, I honestly believe Spyglass is really counting on making this a reboot. Um, now, I will say I definitely agree with Jamie Kennedy and Matthew Lillard, who spoke up at this convention and said that Scream definitely doesn't need to be remade, along with films like Jaws. Um, I'll definitely give them the thumbs up there. I personally just really don't feel like uh, a Scream remake could work, um, especially given the current climate of horror and slashers. I, I got to say I'm not very confident in that solution and that outcome being a successful one. So I'm really hoping that's not what's going on here. However, I, I think that the company, due to the lack of success of Scream 4, and a lot of the things we've been hearing, um, even though Spyglass Media Group did say they want to get in touch with Nev Campbell and, and Courtney and Dave and all of them, it seems like there's been no real effort to do so. And like I said, once again, they could just, they could just be working us right now. They really could. They could be trying to keep everything silent, keep everything, um, you know, behind closed doors. But if that were the case, why even put out um, you know, these, I guess, promotional materials saying, hey, look, hey, over here, we have Scream. Hey, we bought it. Yeah, it's ours. You know, if you really wanted to do things secretive, um, you'd think you wouldn't even go that far. So that's why I'm a little bit torn, honestly, right now. And, and, and I really feel as if we're going to get a Scream reboot. And what do I mean by that? Because a lot of these terms are used fast and loose these days on what's a remake or what's a reboot or what's a prequel or what's a, you know, whatever. Um, I believe that we're going to get something similar, story-wise, to the Scream TV show uh, that MTV had and VH1 later picked up. I think we're going to get a similar story. I think we're going to get an all-new cast. I don't think there's going to be any specific tie back to the original four Scream films. Um, and that kind of hurts, I'll be honest with you, because... You know, after the after Scream 3, I wanted more Scream for so long, and it took like 11 years to get it, and we got it with Scream 4, and I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was better than Scream 3. Um, I know a lot of people disagree with that and kind of revile Scream 4, but I honestly thought it was better than the third installment. Um, it was more akin to the original two. Um, and, you know, then in 2015... I'm feeling that hunger again for some more Ghostface, and they give us the TV show on MTV. And I'll say, um, I, I it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be, but it still wasn't Scream. You know, there's still that something missing. So, you know, seasons one and two of that, three over on VH1, that was its own disaster. I think it could have been a lot better had there not been a lot of things that were working against. I mean, you know, the whole Weinstein deal and whatnot. Um, but those those three seasons of Scream... We're okay. Um, maybe not so much the last one. But 
it wasn't Scream. And that's my biggest fear in all this is that we're going to get a, another Scream reboot, uh, new group. And it's just not going to be the same. It's just not going to be what we want. And it's not going to be good. And that's my really that's my biggest fear for this. Um, I think it's okay to play around with Scream as a universe and the concepts maybe off the silver screen. TV was a good place for this to happen. But when we're coming back to the big screen, when we're coming back to the silver screen, when it, it's been, you know, nine years now, and the movie's not going to be released this year by any stretch of the imagination. So it's going to be over a decade by the time we get this film since the last one we saw. I think that it's time to give it another go, guys. Maybe 4 didn't perform exactly the way you thought it would, but I think now in this slasher and horror renaissance that we've had the past couple of years, I think the time is right, and I think the time is right to do it right. And doing it right means bringing back Nev Prescott, uh, Nev Prescott, holy shit, bringing back Nev Campbell, bringing back David Arquette, bringing back Courtney Cox, um, and giving us a story to follow Scream 4. Um, that's what I want. I think that's what a lot of people want. Um, and quite frankly, I'm going to be pretty disappointed if it is indeed what I think it is. And that's a reboot. Um, I, I'd much rather see like a legacy sequel, like they're doing with Candyman or Halloween to, uh, something to follow up from Scream one. I'd rather see that than a total, uh, reboot. And I definitely don't want to see a remake. So unfortunately that's where we are now. Um, and like I said, nothing's been confirmed, but I'm just picking up and listening to everything I'm hearing from the actors and, uh, you know, Spyglass and everyone involved or potentially involved in this thing. I'm listening to everything I'm hearing and I'm getting more and more disappointed by the day. Um, but you know, before we go, I just want everyone to know none of what I'm saying here is confirmed. None of what I'm saying here is concrete. This is all pure speculation still at this point, and I kind of felt like I wanted to talk a little bit about it. But I do this just as much to get off my chest and express myself uh, on these things as I do love hearing from you all. So down in the comment section below, let me know what you all think. Are we going to get a Scream 5? Are we going to get what we really, really want out of this? Or are we going to get a remake, a reboot? Um... You know, something akin to the TV show, something akin to a legacy sequel. What do you guys think? Because right now it's so up in the air, it almost looks like they bought the rights uh, at, with, with no clue what they were really going to do with it. And that is a bit concerning, to say the least. So let me know what you all think down below in the comment section. While you're down there, check out the description section with links to follow me on social media or support my work on Patreon. Uh, I apologize if I'm a little nasally or sinusy or whatever. I'm still getting over this uh, long-lasting cold I've had. No, it's not Corona. Don't you wish that on me. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Turn those notifications on if you're new here and you enjoy uh, the Scream Talk. We do a lot of Scream Talk here. Uh, we do a lot of Halloween Kills slash Ends Talk. We're doing a lot of Candyman Talk, a lot of... Uh, spiral from the Book of Saul talk, and of course all of my Bloody Breakdown reviews. Everything and anything horror is going on right here at Bloody Breakdown. So I guess that'll be about it. Like I said, sound off down below in the comment section. I'm Brent from Bloody Breakdown, and we'll catch you all next time.